in the distance there is Steep Home, look. A Steep Home. I don't know if I was recording for the first couple of seconds then. Anyway, I've just come out of um, Roeborough Warren back there, right? And I was just saying that I walked up here the other day. Well, I, no, a month, six weeks ago, something like that. I've been up here a couple of times, getting into the wood that way. Um, I'm just doing a short video now. It would be nice to be able to find the proper track back without having to go in a field of cows, you know what I mean? But I've got to, I know that it's very, very likely that there is a field where I've got to go through cows. Now look at that lovely view there, look. I've probably videoed this before. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful, everyone? Look at that field. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I just love being out. I was getting a bit breathless because of all the pollen on the trees. Just for a second, I was getting a bit breathless. So I said, there's um steep home right out there, look. I got views of it from the corn tops the other day. And I've been taking pictures of it while I'm up on the um the Mendips a minute ago. called Blackdown Farm up there. Blackdown Farm. Because we've got the Blackdown Hills back there, you see. Which were used by the army in the war, or the RAF, to deceive the Germans. They put, I think they put our pretend planes up there and all sorts. Blow up ones, you know. Yeah, so basically now, really, apart from a couple of little tiny hills, this is all the way downhill to Winscombe, basically. You've just got to keep going down and down. And i got to find the West Mendip Way and just keep going down and down. It's more straightforward, really, than doing the cheddar thing at the moment. All these stones is probably where the water came gushing down the other day. You never see anybody out in their gardens, you know, when you come by here. I'm just videoing this for posterity. I don't know if it'll probably be very jumpy. I don't think it'll be too windy, though. I, of course, I can't um, describe smell on the camera but someone's got a bonfire. So you just have to use your imagination. I'm glad that person let me borrow some of their suntan protection earlier. It's been deceiving because of the wind, you see. The wind is sort of cooling you, but it's still quite hot, really. It is when you're walking for hours. All these hidden homes. Yeah. Like they say, how the other half live, isn't it? I always thought, I'd, well, I did have my own house. I've gone through this before. Had it, lost it. It's life, isn't it? Seems to be. And, uh, of course, when you, your relationship breaks up, your marriage... Um, it really does affect what 
you have to take your quality of life economically, that is. But psychologically, I was much richer afterwards. In many ways. But um, economically, you have to pay the penalty. Most, most women do. Um, more women who are in employment than they were in the past. I mean, it was like Karl Marx said, family and marriage and all that is for to keep the capitalist system going. Keep people dependent. Keep them down. Make them beg for their bread. That's what's happening now. This is what's happening with this carrot and stick treatment that we're getting from Theresa May. It's true, you know, carrot and stick treatment, lures and tricks. I've been saying about it for ages, but no one listens. They all bloody vote for them. Because I'm all right, Jack, you look after your own interests. Until now, when a lot of people with their homes, like out here, got to sell them. To pay for their old age. I can't remember this lane being this long. I suppose it must have been. But at least I'm in the cool. Right, over and out for a little while then, everyone. This is Sheila. It's the 1st of June, 2017. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm making my way down towards Shipham, then on to the West Mendip Way, and in down to Winscombe, where I will pick up the, ch the, the cheddar bus, the Wells bus, to take me back to Western Supermare. Um, hopefully I won't miss it. Um, I've got till quarter past six. Well, say six o'clock, just be on the safe side, because it gets to cheddar at six. So allow for probably quarter of an hour, it's probably quarter past. Um, but time really goes fast. I mean, I'm having to speed up a bit now. Um, because I have to be prepared for any diversions. For example, in a minute, I might there might be a mass of cows in this field. And I'll decide um, I can't go in there. See? I ain't going to risk it. So I'd have to carry on down into the village and do it another way. But I've still got the problem with the one field that always has cows in it in the summer. But they're normally high up. But um, oh, I'll face that problem when I come to it in a minute. Now you see this pink house here? Is that this pink house where there's a turning where there was confusion over the signs? Just, I was going to investigate it when I came here, which is what I might do now. If not, I'm going to carry on down. Yeah, we're somewhere around here. Yeah, see the sign there. I don't know if it is this one. I'm sure, there was a sign going up the other way. I'm not going to risk it, I'll carry on down. Oh, I don't know, there is a sign pointing that way. Oh, I'm still not going to do it. Oh, that's a nice little house, isn't it? Pretty pink. Right, over and out.